Hello, this is Anne, and um, I am here to talk to you a little bit about uh, knitting and magic. Someone asked me about knitting and magic earlier this week, and it's that person said, why do you always talk about magic and knitting? And um, I'm going to tell you why. There are several reasons why, to me, knitting is magic. Um, there are so many reasons that I can't really go into all of them, but I'm going to focus on two reasons during this little live that we got now. And the first one is really the community sense, right? Um, what I have seen over the years that I've been doing my knitting is how knitting brings people together and it makes something it does something to people you know um, to see people interact to see people you know having the love for the same craft doing the same stuff working on the same pattern uh, aiming at the same goal is to me is really really magic and to see you know the progress and how people are actually showing off their work because they're proud of what they're doing is even more magic right i've done some knit alongs over the last few years and they are magic because you gather you manage to get people onto the same track we are all doing the same work, we are all aiming at the same finish and people are so absorbed in that project and those colors and that yarn that, you know, what ever problem you have outside of that one setting, it doesn't really matter because when you're in that setting, doing that color work, doing that knitting with people that understand your <laughs> challengers that understand and see your beautiful colors and know that you know what is lying behind this that does something to people to me this is magic pure magic really and this summer when i did my first deep down course with a group of people wonderful women from all over the world who knitted my uh, my festival model that was you know, uh, it was just another proof of the magic. Seeing those people getting to know each other and now, you know, they are, what's happening is that they are actually become friends on Facebook. And what they do is that they actually, and it makes me a bit jealous to be quite honest, uh, in a good way, <laughs> really, because I realized the other day that they keep talking to each other without me being present. Can you imagine that, honestly? If that isn't magic, I'm bringing people, I have actually brought people together from all, people from South Africa, Canada, France, Ireland, Australia, and America, US, are now become, have now become friends because they joined my knitting magic course this summer. Um, so yes, it is knitting magic. It really is. And on all levels and, and so many aspects and angles that it's, you know, I can talk about this for hours, but there is one more thing, and that's the personal, on the personal level, the emotional level, the uh, level of connecting with your loved ones. Um, some of you who see this have probably heard this story before, not once, maybe even twice or th three times. Um, my mom used to be, and still is to a certain degree, an avid knitter, not to the same level as I am these days, but she has been knitting all her life. And um, all her, the old stuff that she made, you know, half a century or more ago, uh, a lot of it is gone, but some of it is still there, right? And some of it that was made before her time even, is still there. It's when I um, when I showed you this. It's um, a mitten that my mom used to use. He, she used to wear this 
during the Second World War in 1944. She was born in 43, and this one is from when, her, when she was one year old, right? It's tiny, isn't it? This one is almost 80 years old, and we still got it. Um, this gives me the goosebumps every single time I talk about it. Because there is something about, you know, knowing that my mom actually used to wear this. Or this, a few years later. Uh, even these, not my mom's, but probably my grandfather's or something, or maybe even my father's at some point. These are from the 50s, early 60s. And it does something to me to know when I know that these garments have been knitted by someone and they're still around and they can still be used. The baby mitten I can't really use, can I? I cannot. But this one is fully usable. They have been washed in a washing machine that was, you know, not or too harsh, you know, before we came to, you know, all the knowledge we have about wool and, and washing today. So they're a bit hard in because they're hundred percent wool, but still they are you know they are they are history. These ones, they are history. They have been used to such a this is from the time when I'm, I have one here, where is it? Uh, yeah, this one. We have one that is even more, you know, even been used even more, but this one. These are from the time where people didn't throw away stuff. And this is from the time where they actually mended things, right? Um, now we throw it away and we buy or knit new ones. But the other one to this one, I haven't got it here right now, but the other one to this one is mended in seven different places because this is the left hand and the right hand, the person that used this. Probably have a, is a hand, right-handed person, so you use that one more. And that, but the other one has been mended here, here, on the top, hip here, over here, and a couple of other places. It's absolutely amazing. And this does something to me, really, it really does. So think about, and you know, what that means, being able to make a mark in history, because that's what you're doing. Being able to make something that lasts for generations, uh, be able to make something that you can give away. Maybe it's the favorite sweater of your daughter and when she goes away to, to college she's sitting on her dorm, in her dorm, freezing and all she wants to do really is to go home to mom and she puts on her, you know, beautiful knitted sweater that you made to her one winter a couple of years ago. It's like, it's that feeling that really makes knitting magical to me. And that is the feeling I want everyone else to get. And um, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing, really. Um, more to it than that is, there isn't more to it than that, really. It's um, knitting and it's magic. And if you want to learn the Norwegian magic, it's not the Hogwarts magic. Even though I love Hogwarts magic, I love Harry Potter. Um, but it's still magic, right? We have our needles. Our needles are our magic ones, right? That was it for today. I wish you a beautiful Friday. If you have any questions, if you have any feedback, anything, if you have listened throughout or watched throughout all this, leave a comment. Uh, below. I would love to hear from you and I'll see you around. Thanks for listening. Go and make, make some magic.